areas and Cox met those requirements. Just a sophomore, very talented player for the Jackets. He's hit by a pitch here. And he's a two-time GNAC Player of the Week this season. In last week's road stretch against Concordia and Western Oregon, Cox, listen to these numbers, hit 464. He had a home run, two doubles, six RBIs, and he had two saves and a win with six strikeouts and five innings on the mound. So you'd be hard-pressed to find a better overall week than the one Cox had, not just in one area, but in both areas. In the Wednesday game against the Wolves, Cox pretty much single-handedly won it for the Jackets. He homered, he doubled, he drove in all four runs, and then he pitched the final inning plus and got the save in a 4-3 to three win. And if he has a big week, things could change. Payoff pitch now from Walker. Swinging a base hit into right field. Cox has gotten on base for his second time today. And he's got a two-out single. So we talk about the type of power Adam Cox has. And then he rolls one through the right side. He lets the pitch on the outside corner get deep. Doesn't try and crush it and strike out. Instead, he rolls it right where he's supposed to, to right field, and he's got a base hit. Here comes Adam Cox to lead off the bottom of the six. A line drive into the gap in right center, sinking, and it's in there. Another hit for Adam. He's two for two. He's been on base all three times, and he's the go-ahead run on at first with no one out here in the sixth. Here's Cox, so the Jackets catch a break there. That ball hit on a couple of hops right to Eskel, but he just kicked off his glove and went into right field. Three to one now the lead for the Jackets. First pitch to Adam Cox, breaking ball low below the knees, 1-0. On the 1-0, that's ball too high. So a good hitter's count quickly for Cox. Jackets have scored two here, and they now lead it 3-1. to one. Down breaks up, and Cox will walk back to the box. Cox hasn't made an out yet. He got hit his first time up, and then he ripped a single through the right side, and then he ripped another single into the gap in right center. Ahead in the count, 2-0. Two, oh. two outs. Durbin the runner on at first. Two runs already in in the seventh. Jackets looking for a little bit more. Sontag set the 2-0 pitch to Cox. Swinging a drive into center field. That one carrying way back there over the head. And out of here! Two-run home run, Adam Cox. His seventh of the year. The Jackets lead it 5-1. He's 3-3 three for three today. Hasn't made an out. Drives in Durbin. And the line drive to straightaway center carried right out of here. Oh, the pitch. Inside, it hits him. Second time today, Cox has been hit, and there's two on with one out. Now mail hot set, 3-1 pitch. Low in the dirty, walked him, and the bases are loaded with no outs for Corey Morris. Already won game one, and they're up 7 nothing in the first here in game two. 1-2 one, pitch to Cox. Swinging at foul. He just got a piece of the breaking ball at the plate. Still 1-2. and two. And you won't see the Jackets easing up at all with a 7-run lead. They need to win every game they can. They will keep their foot on the gas. No lead is too big. Now the 1-2 again to Cox. Outside, two and two. Good take that time from Adam on a close pitch. Corey Morris on deck for the Jackets. Now Stevenson ready in the 2-2 two -two to Cox. Swinging a ground ball into left field, a base hit. Ryan Schmidt being waved around. RBI single for Adam Cox. It's 8-0 MSUB. The inning continues. So Cox still hasn't made an out today. He's now 4-4, four for four and he's been on base all six times.
So that's home run number four on the day for the Jackets. Ryan Schmidt with two in the first game. This guy right here, Adam Cox, had another. Now Kyle Durbin has gone deep. Jackets adding on a couple more runs in the third. Cox takes the first pitch in there for a strike. So we'll try and bring you an update there on Luke. He's been pinch hit for, so he's his day is done. He won't play in this game anymore, but would expect him to be back in the lineup tomorrow. Cox, meanwhile, hit again, so he's been on base in all seven times that he's gotten up today. So here's Adam Cox. With Durbin on at first after the leadoff single. Swinging a base hit back up the middle. Adam Cox has been on base eight times in eight times up today in the double header. So you literally can't do any better than that. Five hits, two walks, and he's been hit by a pitch. On base percentage of a thousand. 